All right, guys, Eric Gorno here out at the Mike Bender Golf Academy with Mr. Marty Nowicki to my left. Marty, uh, in this video, I wanna talk about a topic that came up in our group recently, which is about arm rotation or supination. Yep. Right? And uh, supination is one of the three micro pieces that we talk about during the downswing with the arms work. And I'd like if you could tell us, hey, this arm rotation piece during the downswing, what does it do? Why is it important? Start well, with that. first of all, it's a must. And B, it is very important. So hold the golf club out right in front of you and just cock it up. So supination is just the outward rotation. So as, er as I move Eric from this side to this side, his left arm is supinating. Why that's so important is because in a golf swing, as you're uncocking and supinating, that's what maxes out the radius. Period. If you mm. didn't supinate it, you couldn't possibly maximize the length from the shoulder to the end of the club. Okay? So here I'm uncocking. Well, that's great. How's your club face look? Wide open. Yeah. What does supination actually help do? It helps to control the club face. And there's a speed component with the rotation. Okay, yep. so that we can get from one side to the other, gaining speed and maximizing that radius. So supination is the outward rotation of the lead arm. So kind of, if I never heard that it before, it's like the palm up of my correct hand type yeah. of thing. And if I don't do that on the way through, that the radius is going to be much yes. shorter. So anyone that doesn't rotate their forearm and wrist, by default, their elbow and wrist will start to bend in. Okay, so that's interesting. So if you were to yeah. look at the distance between my shoulder and the club head. So you feel how I'm pulling that out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what supination is doing is it's taking that weight and shooting it out. Got it. Okay. Okay. And it's squaring the club face. Uh, barring the grip. Right. Yeah, which we're talking about. Squaring yep. the club face. And then there's a there's a speed. There's a speed component to me Correct. going this way compared to nothing. Correct. Second part, right? As I put that in. All else equal, if I were hitting shots, right? Let's say I hit, let's say I hit a shot, and I had not enough supination relative to my grip. Okay. What would I expect the ball? Weaker, more to the right. Weaker, more to the right. And if I so if I had that and I added more supination, yep, it would be stronger and more more likely to draw. I like how you worded that. More so, likely to draw. Doesn't guarantee a draw, but it's more likely. If I hit a, if I had not enough supination, and I hit a ball and it was, I missed it 20 yards right and 20 yards short, I might add supination in. I might be 10 yards right and 10 yards short, but it was less than and what I had if before. If we optimize the supination, which would then put you in that straight line condition, we would yeah. probably likely max out your distance. And gain some distance. <laughs> okay. Now the last piece of this is. A little bit grip dependent. A little bit, yeah. Right. So if I came in and I had the strongest grip known to man, correct, I wouldn't need as much of the supination mechanism correct. for the club face. Correct. I need some, yeah, but less. Correct. If I had the weakest grip, like this, yep, I would need the most along with the flexing of the you, wrist. You'd need the most flexion, and then we would see you'd have quite a bit of supination right after impact. Supination does three things here that we're talking about. Yep. Radius length. Yep. Club face closure. Yep. Speed. Correct. It would make the golf ball go stronger, so more solid. Yep. Less to the right, all is equal. Correct. And then longer or yeah. farther. Pretty good combination. And then if I have the weakest grip, I would do it the most, all is equal with flexion. <laughs> Correct. If I have the strongest grip, I would do it the least, all is equal with flexion. That is a short and sweet and beautiful supination masterclass by Marty Nowicki. This little device here can completely change your golf game. I know for me, when I was really improving my swing and my game, learning how to release the club correctly and what my arms and hands should be doing through impact made all of the difference in the world. Now, the question is, how can you learn? How do you know when you're practicing by yourself that you're doing and training in the correct motions? This is where I love the impact snap. All I need to do is take this device right at home and learn how to use this 
correctly, get the auditory feel that I need, get the feel that I get with the ball on my forearm. And when you purchase this, Marty gives you that seven day uh, training video for you to run through. So it shows you exactly how to use it, if it's right in your golf bag. And I'm telling you, the release pattern, these little micro motions can be the difference between having it on Tuesday and losing it by Friday and having a swing that's consistent and shows up on the golf course all the time. I highly recommend and endorse this Impact Snap. We put a link in the description down below.